Get back to work. That's the ruling by a Baton Rouge judge ordering lawmakers to redraw the state's congressional map to include two majority black districts to better reflect this state's population, which is 33 percent black. The special session must wrap up by June 20th. And we want to put this in context for you. So here it is. This is a look at our current congressional map, the one that the GOP led legislature closely once done. They say this is what they want. The majority black district is in light blue right here, going from New Orleans to North Baton Rouge. That's the district represented right now by Congressman Troy Carter. It's the only majority black district in this state. In green, you have Scalise above that, Garrett Graves, Clay Higgins, Julia Letlow, and then Mike Johnson. But take a look at this map. This is the one that the Black Caucus wants and the governor wants. They want, in green, Troy Carter's district. It would still have the bulk of New Orleans. But they want the yellow district to be a majority minority district as well. That is the district that is currently represented by Julia Letlow, a Republican. That district would then stretch from North Louisiana all the way down to Baton Rouge. Now, you can see on this map, there are impacts to Garrett Graves' district in pink. He would pick up the North Shore. Steve Scalise would pick up a lot of the Southern parishes. Some lawmakers like this idea. Others say... It's terrible. It's not just race. We're looking at the number of split parishes. We're looking at the number of split precincts. We're looking at the overall deviation. These are other criteria that have to be factored in when drawing maps. I need somebody to explain to me in this body how the current map and the map that's been drawn and approved does not allow for representation, the right to vote or the right to run of any minority. Lawyers have filed motions today asking the United States Supreme Court to weigh in on this issue. There is the chance lawmakers will not get any work done by June 20th, and this matter will be stuck in the court system. Basically, in a nutshell, we could be weeks, if not months, away from congressional maps being approved.